This design was inspired by the beautiful Japanese Himegyaru nail designs. I also did this design for my sister on her wedding day about two months ago. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I always like to start off with a base coat to all of my nails to strengthen and prevent them from turning brittle, dry, and yellow. Here I'm using my favorite OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener. Please check the info box below for more information and details on this product. Using a white nail polish, I'm using the brand by Jordana. Just freehand a white French tip and do this on all of your nails. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we will be covering the not so perfect line with some pearls and rhinestones later on. Now this is what your nails should look like when they all have been completed. Now take a sheer pearly white nail polish and coat this all over your nails, even covering the French tips. For my flowers, I'm going to squeeze some white and pink acrylic paint onto a piece of paper. And using my flat top painting brush, I'm going to dip half into the white and the other half into the pink. Work it back and forth to distribute the paint evenly throughout the bristles. And now we're going to create our half flower. So you just want to create three petals on the bottom right corner of your nails. Using my dotting tool dipped into some white acrylic paint, I'm going to add some dots to add detail to my design. And it also adds a touch of elegance. You guys can check the description box below to know where you can find the acrylic paints and tools that I use in this nail tutorial. To add some glam and glitter to this design, I'm going to be using some flat back pearls and rhinestones to deck out my nails just a bit more since it is a wedding nail design. You will also need a pair of tweezers to help you. Now you want to apply your favorite top coat all over your nails, but you want to do this one nail at a time. So you guys can feel free to place your rhinestones and pearls anywhere you'd like on your nails, but I always like to place a rhinestone in the center of each flower. And for my thumb and middle finger, um, those are the only nails I will be placing pearls and more gems just because I don't want it to be too much and overwhelming. So along the line that connects my French tip to the rest of my nail, I'm just going to be placing one rhinestone and the next being a pearl. Make sure you press it in pretty well. And following with three more rhinestones. index finger, ring finger, and pinky, I'm just going to keep it a little bit more simple by placing a rhinestone in the middle of the flower and one in the opposite corner, just like this. And then for my middle finger, I'm just going to repeat what I did for my thumb by adding the pearl and the extra rhinestones. Don't forget to apply a top coat all over your design once more just to keep all the gems and pearls intact. This is my absolute favorite nail design. I hope you guys enjoy. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you like what you see, please like my video. Thanks guys. See you soon.